It wasn't actually the first time uh, they met, but the previous occasions had been very formal. Uh, and also Elizabeth was very, very young. Uh, and we know that this is really the first time uh, Elizabeth remembers meeting Philip. This is definitely the first time I would say they had some quality time together and got to know each other. shouldn't really have been here so really it was a, a quirk of fate that he was actually to meet the Queen here. At the time this was a, a public school uh, for 13 year old children that were not in the Navy but would hope to get a commission on graduating from here um, and he should have been at sea in HMS Frobisher but HMS Frobisher was in refit um, and they didn't know what to do with these special entry cadets they were 18 years old so they came to Dartmouth. Uh, they didn't spend very much time in the actual college, they were most down in, in sort of temporary accommodation down on the river um, doing things seamanship and uh, sort of training mostly. Prince Philip uh, had been chosen to look after the two princesses. Partly it was an obvious choice you've got Prince Philip of Greece and Denmark here as a cadet, uh, why wouldn't you choose him? Uh, and of course we all know that uh, Louis Mountbatten, uh, who happened to be the King's ADC for the visit, uh, probably had a hand in uh, certainly putting forward Philip uh, as a suggested host, thinking that this could be a, a useful uh, liaison uh, that uh, could perhaps flourish. It was the start of a, of a relationship which has uh, obviously been hugely significant in terms of, of British history. Philip himself, the longest serving uh, consort in British history. Uh, the contribution that he's made to the success of Queen Elizabeth reign has been uh, heartily expressed uh, by the Queen herself and by the members of the royal family. After all, this is the point from which Elizabeth will maintain regular correspondence with Philip throughout the war. That will escalate to increasing numbers of visits by Philip to the royal family at Windsor Castle. Uh, but at the end of the day, it all really started here. Thank you.